Hi everybody, welcome very much to another Casted game. Today we have the first match out of a best of three counting for the Elite Classic 2 main event group A. And it is two players from the same team against each other. It's EL Lily MT playing in the color purple as John Dark versus on the other side of the map. It's E-L-C-S-O-H in the color blue, playing as the AU bits, both representing Team Elephant, if I'm not mistaken, if I am, correct me in the comments down below. And the map is Gorge, and if you enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe, use the links down below to find me live on Twitch and to support the, ev ev the event organizer, my bad guys. It's TV on Twitch as well. By the way, they opened the Kickstarter. And if you want, really want to support more and better events directly, go to that Kickstarter. All right, because they have plans. They said, we're going to do this if we get this much amount of um, donations. And it's great plans. If you like Age of Empires 4, if you want the competitive community to grow and thrive, and to have more cool stuff, that's where you can make the difference, right? But let's go. Jean Dark. Oh, no. Early barracks into Spearman Tower. No. Louis, you're not playing the Mongols. I don't know if he knows that. He's going for a tower rush. The mad lad. The mad lad. He's gonna... But he's not using John. To build the tower because John builds the tower fast, but it's too much walking time, right? It's too much walking time and it's too much experience lost, right? Th that tower was very uh, courageous. Uh, CSOH will have enough gold here to age up, so I think that's all right, but. Uh, I think this is a plan to avoid the fast castle of uh, CSOH and the AU bits. That's all they do. Actually, Louis is the only player that I saw doing a second TC AU bit play. But there you go. J Mongols Dark. <laughs> Get it? Or John Mongols. Coming in with a tower rush on the front line. No more gold for you, AU bit sir. Now they go to the back line. Gathering wood for stables for um, archery rangers, I think. They will get the free reinforcement, the the free desert raider, but that can't deal well with towers at all. I mean, actually can do the melee damage, but they have no ranged armor, so they will be deleted. The Kanjan, <laughs> yeah, the Kanjan comes in with the tower rush. Now, bro. Watch them start trading. That will be awesome. Watch them go up with the Chamber of Commerce. They fixed the bugs, right? I think they did. Chamber of Commerce here. Then you make a market there. And, and you're good. They are almost edging up. CSOH is already aging up, uh, but it's, it's not a good idea, Chamber of Commerce, because of the, um, the free Desert Trader right at the moment. CSOH scouts that Desert Trader just goes there, and uh, it's too easy to stop the trade with the Desert Trader, right? But let's see. It should be the School of Cavalry, though, for Lurie. Tower is there. No more world for you, sir. Oh, but... CSOH moves quickly to another gold source. I think Louis has no vision to that. This is a school of cavalry indeed. Yeah, it's going to be the castle age anyway. It gets a bit delayed, but... I think Louis delayed more himself than he delayed the opponent, right? Because he has no vision on this. Where is his scout? His scout is there. He's, he's going to see what gold nodes or which, I mean, 
gold nodes are available and he's gonna see this so he knows there is a bunch of a ubit villagers here mining gold what does he do now what's the plan spears killing villagers there okay one is down oh, the desert raider almost stopped the edge up but they can't reach they're really under the town center. Oh, it's Hunter John. Here we go. I love that. CSOH on its way to the castle edge. Oh, mining some stone to upgrade this tower here. Is it is it the goal? With arrow slits? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, Louis is out of gold. They want to drop a tower here. But the desert raider just said nah. Tower comes in now. Right. CSOH really close with the castle edge if he was gonna use the um, the culturing advancement. John is that John can shoot I think they can one shot the villager, right? With divine arrow. Divine arrow on the desert raider? I don't know about that one. Let's see. John does five bow only five bow damage. They do the desert raiders they do 13 sword damage. So John is screwed. Spears are here to help. But spears are just kited. Knights coming in too. Yeah, if you have knights and spear, it's really hard for the desert raiders. Because they have to commit with, with one attack mode. They just kill the spear and now they face the knight. Right. Divine arrow is here. Good shot. Good damage. But all this stress uh, to fight against free units, right? So, it's really, really valuable. It's for CSOH, not for Louis. CSOH going up very soon with economical wing growth, I'm pretty sure. Yep, we can see it at any moment being clicked. No! It's threatening wing advisors! It's the first time I see it! Upon completion, gain 4 Atabeg, which can be garrisoned in any military production, building, except the docks, to increase the health of newly trade units by 20%. Hmm, but you have no buildings. You'll, you'll do it. Why is that trade wing? That has nothing to do with trade, though. Right? That has nothing to do with trade. I think they just needed a slot for that. And they slap it on the trade wing, right? Interesting. Yeah, nobody goes for the bazaar anymore, which is kind of sad. Gamba is always cool. In, in game, not in real life, guys. Be very careful with your Gamba. Hmm, interesting. Interesting play form CSOH, for sure. But Louis with a lot of units and the, on the field. Can he do what he needs to do? He killed two villagers. He's only one ahead. He has John here. Oh, it was a Consecrate? 
It, that wasn't the first... No, okay, the first one or the second one, okay, but it's the School of Cavalry and the Town Center, consecrated. Uh, running past that tower, okay. Right. They're going over here? You want to catch these guys here? Yeah, I think so. Okay, Desert Raiders cannot go out. Castle Age achieved. Those are the Atta bags. Atta bag supervision. Yeah, that's it. That's the only thing they can do. Oh, you can... That's actually very cool. You can see them in there. In the buildings. That's very cool. That's very cool. Yeah, CSOH is, uh, is, is up there, yes. He moved away. Again. Just to keep things interesting, right? But Louis already knows. Double tower with double arrow slit. There's gonna be a lot of damage coming out. But the knights can tank it, especially with the John healing. Is that tower going down? Is it? Uh, Louis might lose a lot of units here. They have plus one range defense. Going for plus one melee defense as well. Camel okay, has come through. CSOH taking a lot of damage. So let's see. I want to see. That's a, a Camel Lancer coming out. So that Camel Lancer. No, it already has the extra HP. 252. Interesting. 152. And then you can have uh, biology later on in the game, making those cavalry units even more tanky. It's gonna be crazy. So plus 52 HP, that's actually very good. Right. So that means CSOH is more than ready to take on the cavalry from Louis. Oh, but CSOH now comes to this gold again. He's also protecting this gold here. Does that mean he can fight spears a bit better? He has no upgrades. Maybe if he has plus two uh, uh, attack and plus two melee defense, he can fight spears head on because of that extra HP. Right? Jun almost. Jun goes down. That's good. Because his desert traders also have more HP, right? Yeah. Plus 42. They charge back again. More, yeah, because more were coming from the back, doing a good sandwich. Jen returns to the battlefield. Louis on the deer. Why not on the boar? Because he wants to kill it with John or with John nearby. A knight. Bro, Louis killed 10 villagers already. Yeah. I didn't realize that, but that was a lot of damage. Atabeg waiting for another building to go into. Oh, no, I think he went into that one. Yeah, they have the Atabeg. Alright. Knight running away. That's oh, it's a big cavalry army from CSOH. Seven Camel Lancers. Oh, the Horsemen also get more HP, right? They go up to 150 HP. And they are a uh, Feudal Age Horsemen. If they got Veteran, they get more HP. Villagers running away. They bamboozled the army from Louis. Knights getting more there. Oh my god. CSOH lost 12 villages already. Bro, if you go Imperial Age, you receive... Oh, I think that's like... So if you go from Dark Age to Feudal Age, you receive 3 villagers. If you go from Dark Age... If you go from Feudal Age to Castle Age, you receive 8. But then you only, you only receive 10 from Imperial... From Castle to Imperial. I think it's very little. I know you get more food as well from the berry bushes. No, and all the... Ah! And all villagers work 10% faster. Ah, ooh. That's actually juicy. Great engagement. But the spear is in the back. GG gets called. No way. 
No, no, I wanted to see the Atabek deck. Oh, man, GG, bro. He lost too many wheels. Right. He had, he had no answer to the Spearman. CSOH lost so many wheels. Louis had more units. Louis had more eco. GG, though. Good game, good game. All right, guys, thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. See you on the next game. Let's go. Game number two.